What's up everybody? It's the Wolfman here. Um, I haven't got to post videos uh, in a few days. Um, the last videos I posted, you know, I was kind of under the weather. My voice was just not coming back. And, and then I got bronchitis right after that. So I had a week where my voice was gone. It came back a couple days and then I got hit with a bunch of crap, you know, sinuses and whatever bronchitis is just uh, congestion stuff but I'm back and thanks for being patient with me um, I just kind of wanted to chime in and um, let you see what I was eating today on my lunch break it's it's a beautiful day outside it's Monday so you know Mondays are always the longest in my opinion especially where I work so to have a pretty day outside to come out and look at it's kind of uh, gives you a little more energy <laughs> but uh, my wife made me some tuna salad. She just used two cans of the um, um, Star Kissed uh, light chunk tuna in water and some light mayo and some uh, sweet relish, sweet pickle relish. Uh, that's pretty much how I like it. I mean, I can make it different ways, but that's pretty much how I always make it. But I'm going to, I'll pull the camera over here. A lot of people don't think tuna salad or tuna in general looks very appealing. I love tuna. So, but there it is. Got me a big container or Tupperware thing full of it and got me some off brand Ritz crackers that I'm going to eat with it. So, uh, I'm getting my proteins in. Of course, the sweet relish has sugar in it. Um, I don't know much. I don't know really a lot about the mayo. I know that it's got less fat, it's light, but it, I'm sure it still has sugars in it, but I've not counted that in. But um, my proteins and, you know, I'm getting a little bit of sugar with these crackers and my sodium and um, it really doesn't, it does matter and I don't want to say that it doesn't matter, but um, in all honesty, it really just doesn't matter. Not right now because I'm still bulking and, um, you know tuna chicken lean meat and you know I, I eat that but I eat a lot of pastas and, and macaronis and just noodles the ramen noodles or ramen whatever you call, I call them ramen but I just try to pack on all as much carbs and get my calories in as I can and one thing that I'm I've learned and I'm still learning is because I'm eating so much, I am getting bigger, but my body is requiring me to eat more. You know, so instead of normally eating three big meals a day where I used to before bodybuilding, now I'm, I'm doubling, if not almost tripling that, where I'm just constantly eating every two to three hours a day. And sometimes I go without doing that, but I can tell. I mean, my body, I, I run out of energy. I just very, I'm sluggish and. It's uh, it's it's ridiculous how your body relies on the way you're conditioning it. So, um, but you know, I'm sure it's probably the same way when you lose weight. You know, you you go, to, you know, uh, that that long period of time where you're eating whatever you want to eat and you're not losing weight, you're gaining it and you're unhealthy. But then you go on your diet or your cut, whatever you want to call it. And you're watching your uh, your consumption about how much you eat, your, um, you know, and your calories. Um, I'm sure your body can tell the first several days it's like what are you doing to me but then I'm sure uh, just like this you start getting energy you know when you start eating right you start eating uh, not as much as you normally have but your body gets conditioned so your body conditions itself along with the diet that you're choosing for it so it your body is adaptable um, so I mean I know a few people right now that are on a, a journey of losing weight and um, I love watching them and then they tell me they lose the weight and I can see it you know that it's encouraging for them and it's encouraging for me because I'm on the same journey just in a different way I'm gaining the weight and they're losing it so I like touching base with them and uh, um, yeah so give me just a second all right so let's chow down on this and Oh, yeah. This is actually 
the first thing lately that I've put light mayo in. Normally I don't, I just use regular mayonnaise. But I'm kind of start, I'm wanting to watch more of what I'm eating. I don't want to eat so much fat. I don't want you to get the wrong idea about me that I'm just eating whatever. To a degree I am, but it whatever I eat is healthy to a degree. So, but I really can't taste the difference at all. It still tastes like it's made with regular mayonnaise. So, yeah. So, hopefully, whoever's watching this is following me also on Instagram. A lot of crap has happened on Instagram the past couple weeks. They have deactivated or disabled my account two or three times. Two, I think actually just two times. I'll email them. They'll bring it back and say, we're sorry for the inconvenience. It's not an actual message. It's just an automated, you know, I can't reply or whatever. It's not a real person. But then they, I start trying to post a picture. One of the last posts I've put from this video, I, I put a picture of Steve Reeves up, supposedly a natural bodybuilder. I, I mean, I'm not 100% on that, but he says it was. But I put a picture of him up to motivate everybody on my Instagram, and they locked me out of my account for four hours. And they really counted that down. It wasn't almost four hours. It was four hours to the second. So I had to wait. And uh, then I had to wait. I got locked out to where I could hashtag and comment and like and do all those things. And then they email me the next day and say that my account has had suspicious activity and that they require me to change my password. So if you're watching my Instagram, keeping up with me, I'm not posting a lot. It's not because I don't want to and that I'm not trying. It's because they are not letting me. So Instagram, you know, help me. <laughs> help me out. But supposedly they got it worked out. I don't know if somebody was tampering with my account or whatever. I didn't see any bad activity coming through my feed, but I don't know. I don't know how it works. But it's back up, so you can go check me out on Instagram and follow me. But this morning, I didn't do a video because I was almost late to work because my baby and my wife, it wasn't their fault. I'm just joking. I was just late. I wasn't late. I was almost late. I got here right on time. Um, I had two chimichangas, and I've got the plate right here to prove it, and the residue. Chimichangas. I love them. But um, this is what I'm going to eat for lunch. I got me some peanut butter crackers and some Cheez-Its. I've kind of been eating Cheez-Its on and off today just to have something I got out of the vending machine. And... You may not like this, but I'm actually drinking a soda right now. I know it's horrible, but I just wanted some caffeine. I haven't had caffeine in a long, you know, in a while. Well, I I have caffeine. I don't have a lot of carbonated drinks. Like about the only caffeine drink I drink is sweet tea. And but lately it's just been a little bit of sweet tea, a lot of water, a lot of milk, orange juice when we have it. We run out of that quick, especially when we're sick cuz when I get sick, everybody in the house gets sick and we don't have orange juice. <laughs> But, uh, so after this, I'll be working and I'll be eating some peanut butter crackers on my next break. I don't know if I'll put that on the video because I didn't do a breakfast one. I'm just really wanting to update y'all. But, uh, you know, keep keep supporting me. You know, it's really helping me to watch views. You may, you're going to look on my view count and see that I don't even have, like, I don't even have 20 views on one of my videos yet. But that's not disheartening. I've got, you know, you got to start somewhere. I'm learning how to promote myself. I'm learning how to get myself out there. So it's just going to take some time. It's not going to happen overnight. To some people it does, but that's just kind of, I don't really believe in luck, but if, if you know, good luck, you know, as they, they had good luck or whatever you want to call it. They were fortunate. So, um, yeah, I'll, I'll get there when I get there, but I'm going to stop the video for now. Um, you know, Subscribe to me on YouTube this channel. Thank you so much for your support and, and your help on my journey I love having supporters Because it's a it's a it's a fan base But you're you're more than that because you're a part of this journey with me I don't like doing it alone and I'm not doing it alone I've got a lot of people that are backing me with this decision that I've made you know over a year and a half so um, I'm a bodybuilder in the making, I'm still, I'm, uh, I am in the process 
I am a bodybuilder. You know, I'm a natural bodybuilder. And um, so follow me on my journey. Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. Uh, I actually have a Snapchat. Um, Wolfman BB. if you want to Snapchat me. I don't do a lot of Snapchat. I just kind of have it. But until next time, peace. Wait a second. This is peace. <laughs>